Michelle Baker, it's your mayor. I hope the uh, last month has been great for you. I hope you and your family are doing very, very well. Um, and as we continue to navigate through this pandemic, um, I want to continue to, uh, I, wanna, I want to ask you guys to continue to pray uh, for us here at the city of Baker, our leadership, as we continue to pray for you. Um, we are at a point that we've been talking about for the last uh, couple of weeks now. We're at the uh, reopening phase, the phase one of this. Um, so you guys, we're here, and, uh, but we're proceeding with caution. And today I wanna talk to you about this. We're gonna talk, talk, talk you through this so you really can understand where we are here. And if you have an opportunity to take notes, take some notes, but really watch this and make sure that you understand what this is all about. And let's, uh, we're going to move on to the, to the uh, safe cycle, and this is what we're calling the safe cycle. Um, in, in phase one, remember we talked about phase zero, uh, the, the, and, and the numbers have gone down enough for the governor to move into phase one. But phase one is a holding pattern, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here because we still uh, need to continue to stop the, the spread of the disease. And we still need to do voluntary quarantine if we feel ourselves getting sick. We are increasing testing uh, throughout the city of Baker and the surrounding areas, and they are doing some limited returns to work. Okay, so we need to be careful here. All the time now, we still need to do six feet, uh, keep the distance between us. We still need to wear our masks. Uh, we still need to be cautious of what's going on. Um, and, um, and, and, and also, you can always register at opensafe.la.gov for more information here. Remember, we don't have a vaccine yet, you guys, so we still need to be careful about what's going on. Um, we don't want a, a research uh, uh, of, what, of the cases that we have, so we still need to follow the steps. The steps. Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, and when you talk about businesses, and you guys need to know this, if you're not a business owner, you need to know what can be open, what type of essential, uh, in, uh, essential businesses we have are defined by the federal government. Uh, restaurants is yeah, and, and, and but look, for takeout, curbside pickup, outdoor dining is allowed without table side service and with proper social distancing. And everybody in the restaurant is gonna be wearing a mask. So I suggest that you wear a mask too, and they probably will suggest that you wear a mask. Now we don't wanna get into any confrontations about this. This is all to be able to take care of ourselves and be able to keep everybody safe. Bar casinos and amusement, yes. Uh, personal care such as salons and and barber shops and spas, et cetera. That's the nail shops for you ladies. Yeah, you can go get your nails done, but they have to have, it's a 25% capacity. They're not gonna be able to let everybody in there. You're not gonna be able to sit in there and wait uh, like you, you were used to. Gyms and fitness centers, yes, you can go there. They can open, but there's gonna be a capacity, a 25% capacity. So you're not gonna be able to just pile in there like you think you are. Shopping malls. But here's the deal with the shopping malls, curbside retail only. So you're not going to be able to walk through the malls just yet. And all employees dealing with the public are going to have on face masks. So the communication levels are going to be a little low here, and we need to pay attention to that. And any non-essential retailer, other businesses, called the gray areas, the hair stores and all that, yes, and uh, the, the, uh, the employee is going to be wearing masks. Um, what businesses that cannot open? The next slide is gonna tell us that. Uh, you, that's not gonna be open. Spas, massage establishments, tattoo parlors, carnivals, amusement, amusement parks, water parks, um, trampoline parks, arcades and fairs. They're not gonna be open. They're not part of this, this, this reopening right here. Bars, no bars. Sorry guys, no bars. So you're gonna have to go eat dinner wherever you're at and then get your, your drink in. Breweries, uh, pool halls, contact sports, no contact sports at all yet. Uh, that means that no football practice, I guess that's what they're talking about here. Playgrounds, no playgrounds as of yet. No theme parks, adult entertainment venues, whatever that is, no. Let's talk a little bit about some informational re resources here. Uh, and this is for the business and faith 
uh, leaders should register at uh, opensafely.la.com uh, to receive guidance and updates from the state fire marshal's office and Louisiana Department of Health. Um, we have guidelines on our website for the people in our city, for the, for the faith-based organization, and our fire chief will be reaching out to make sure that we all are following the guidelines. And for a guide of business that can be open at any given time, you need to visit uh, the governor, the uh, GOV, Louisiana dot GOV, can this business open, okay? Or call somebody and somebody will be able to let you know. The next slide also gives you information about members of the public can continue to get information from the governor's office. Members of the public can get information from the Department of Health. I suggest you go do that. That information is there, ldh.la.gov slash coronavirus. And people with general questions about it can call 211, which that is uh, the information that we've always had there. The uh, other informational resources uh, is the CDC, and this is for disinfecting public spaces, workspaces, uh, businesses, and schools. And look, and look, you guys, this is really important. I'm going to stop here. Now, you have to realize that in some of these places, you guys haven't been in these businesses for a while. So what you're going to have to do is going to have to go ahead and, and do an evaluation of that business, meaning to go in and make sure that you check your water, that everything is cut back on, and make sure before you go in and start opening up stuff that you do everything slowly. Uh, and this is one of the things that we're talking about. For the guidance for cleaning, we need to go in and make sure that we can clean uh, these desktops and all the things that CDC talks about. We need to clean them very, very, very well. There's a liability that goes with opening back up and someone comes in. They may come in sick, but they may say they got sick at your establishment or your church or where you are. So you need to cover yourself with, the, with this liability, uh, cover yourself and go and use the guidelines and make sure that you... Follow the guidelines or talk to the people that can show you the guidelines and be able to protect yourself and your family. Now, there's two things that's going on here when we do this reopening. We want the businesses to protect themselves, to protect their people that work there, and we want you to be protected. So if everybody's following the guidelines, if everybody's just being courteous and doing the things that we need to do, that they need to do, we're going to be fine. Now, let, let me go back. Let's talk about this again and what, what we want to do. Social distancing is still a key here. Make sure that you continue to use social distancing. And we highly recommend that you wear a mask. That's in the general order. That's going to be in the order in the city of Baker. And we, are, we encourage you to do that, to wear a mask if you go anywhere. Now, uh, when you go out to all these places that they have, I ask you to use wisdom and, and, and make sure that you're not in crowded spots and make sure that you keep your distance. And always make sure that you're washing your hands or you're using hand, hand sanitizers uh, to make sure that we keep this thing from reoccurring, uh, a resurgence, as, as the mayor and the governor talks about for the safety precautions. We need to make sure we do that. You need to make sure that you put that up in your house. Put it up in your house so your family understands it. We ask the businesses to have this up in their bathrooms and, and, and if they're gonna be opening, and even when you're outside. And when you finish, if you're gonna wear a mask or you're gonna wear gloves, make sure you take your mask and gloves and you throw them in the garbage can. Don't leave them on the ground. Don't create more of a safety hazard that we need here. So all these things are important with re reopening, okay? But the main object here, the main thing is that we can't control a lot of this in our environment, but we can control us. And that's why I ask you today to make sure that you use wisdom when you go out. Use wisdom. Understand that the mitigation procedures are still out there. We still got people getting sick and people are still dying. Let's not let our guards down and, 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 and help this virus. Uh, reoccur where we have to come back to phase zero and, and start all over again. So I hope this information in the first part of this uh, of the show is going to help you. And uh, I need to just go pay a few bills, uh, Baker, and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Come back and see me. 
you own or are planning to start a business, you need to take a hard look at Baker, your one-stop shop for business city licensing, services, and sensible tax rates. With low crime, it's a stone's throw from downtown Baton Rouge, the airport, it's on the river with railways. Baker is not landlocked. Plank Road presents the traffic businesses need, and Main Street offers a hometown atmosphere. Baker and Business, moving forward together. Hey, welcome back, Baker. Hey, while we were on break, uh, we were, I was talking to uh, a couple of people uh, about uh, how many people watch the show and who is the show for. Well, the show Baker Forward is originally for uh, the, Baker, the citizens of Baker and the surrounding areas. But when we talk about Baker Forward, Baker Forward is part of a, a, bigger, a, a bigger dream, uh, a bigger opportunity for North Baton Rouge uh, to continue to grow. And you hear people like uh, Councilwoman, Councilwoman uh, Shauna Banks and, and Senator Regina Barrow and Barbara Carpenter and, the Mayor, and, Mayor, and, uh, and Mayor Broom talk about this. We talk about North Baton Rouge and how we want to grow North Baton Rouge into an area where it's not just the place where you put dumps and, and all the negative stuff that we want to make sure that we build this up into a place where people would be proud to come. And so this information is always for everybody in this area and realize that, but you know, I'm always representing the great city of Baker and we're always gonna be live, but we're gonna be the leader. Uh, our city is gonna always be the leader in making sure that North Baton Rouge is a great area of East Baton Rouge Parish. Let's move on real quick and let's talk about, uh, let's finish the conversation that we had about reopening. Now, this is key, you guys, both the restaurants and outdoor religious and place of worship guidance. And, and here's the deal. Here's what they're going to be looking at here. They're going to require some spacing of groups. And now, why are you telling me this, Amir? Because when you go into these places, you understand that this is the guidance that they're getting from, uh, the, from the governor's office and from CDC. And it's a limited uh, concentration of people. Strict use of PPE, which is masks and gloves, and frequent hand sanitizing. Okay, these are requirements. I will tell you, as a business owner, um, everybody's going to know the requirements, and I ask you, please, and I urge you to follow the requirements to the T. And when you go into these business environments, uh, us customers, uh, we need to look around. We don't need to be raising the sand with people or anything like that. But if they're not doing what the guidelines say, you probably need to go somewhere else and do business. And so we need to work together on that to make sure that we follow the guidelines. This is the new norm. This is what we're talking about here. This is how we restart and get back to work uh, with everything that's going on. Um, so I hope everybody understand that. You can go back to uh, the uh, the, the information that we talked about. Let's move on uh, and to, for the businesses. And this, this is what we're doing in Baker to make sure that the businesses understand what the requirements are, that the businesses understand um, what they're supposed to be doing. And, and, and the pandemic has allowed us to, to build relationships with our business community that we really never had before uh, on a larger level, okay? The chamber has always been strong, but now we're stronger. We're talking to businesses that we've never talked to before. And right now, I have a mayor's weekly business conference call, that bridge number 774 220-4000, and the pin is 22537. We are going to move to Zoom, but now we're just trying to build up, and that's every Thursday at 11 a.m. So if you a business in Baker or surrounding areas, please call in. We have information for you to make your business stronger. We have information for you to continue moving forward through this pandemic, and as we recover, we want you to be there to get the information. OK, and the last thing I want to talk about here today is uh, I want to our communication system. We have uh, recently we went out and we have uh, got a new uh, communication system here. We wanted it to be better. We wanted to be able to touch everybody in the area and the surrounding areas. And we want you to text L.A. Baker updates, all that's in caps, to 468311. And this communication system is key. 
not only because of the pandemic, it's because of all the disasters and everything that we have going on in the city. And it will send you email updates. It will send you text messages updates right to your phone so you'll know what's going on. Like the rain we had yesterday, the rain uh, was really, really hard. And sometimes some of the streets get flooded throughout or around Baker. So we'll be able to send you an update and let you know what street not to use, what street to use. And we'll, we'll be able to inform you so you can make better decisions on what's going on in and around Baker. So once again, text LA Baker updates to 468311, and we'll be able to get you that information in good times and in bad times, and it'll let you know what is going on in the city. We just sent an update out about our introduction of our budget. Uh, to the city council the other day. Make sure you get that email. Make sure you sign up. Make sure you add your phone to that so you will know the information that we're putting out. The thing that, that just bothers me the most is that when I run into people and they say, I don't know what's going on. I hadn't heard anything. And we're using all these medium, mediums to get the information out. Here's the best way to, to get the information out because you guys are carrying those phones and you have your emails on those phones, and we really, really want you to sign up. So text LA Baker updates to 468311. Make sure you tell your family. Make sure you get grandma on board. You make sure you get papa on board. Make sure all your kids, everybody in your church uh, is using this update. Text LA Baker updates to 468311. Thank you guys. And listen. We want to go back to this slide right here. This is the slide that's going to help us continue to save lives. This is the slide that we need to be practicing all the time. We need to understand the safety precautions. We need to understand what the symptoms are and the difference in the symptoms. And we need to understand if we don't have a doctor, we need to make sure that we call 211. Now, we do have a testing center here in Baker at the Walmart. That information is on the website. Make sure you check that out. That's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will be bringing the testing back to finish the seniors in the next couple of weeks. We will be doing this. So we are going to have increased testing in Baker. and. Um, and we're going to, and, and I told you that we're going to keep doing this, but we're going to keep moving forward with you guys. We're going to keep doing the things. We're going to keep working with the leadership of the state and the leadership of this parish to do the things we need to do. Now, I have a little surprise for you coming up in the next segment. So you need to hang around, okay, because we're going to have some reopening guidance from our very own uh, mayor president. Mayor Sharon Broom, and she will be on the show to talk more about what we're doing so you can get the information from her and Dr. Uh, Godbert that's with her on what we're doing now. So you guys, please stick around. We still have a great show left. I'll be right back. Are you looking to build or purchase a home? You need to take a hard look at Baker small town atmosphere that's good for families. Baker has everything you need. Shops, doctors, hospitals, it's near the airport and a stone's throw from downtown Baton Rouge. No traffic hassles and lots of community activities to be involved in. Ranked as one of the safest cities in Louisiana by Home Security Advisor, Baker and families are moving forward together. Hey Baker. Welcome back. This is Shamir. Um, we're having on the phone right now. I told you I had a surprise for you. We have our mayor president, Mayor Sharon Weston Broom, and we have Dr. Goodby, who is the director of uh, EBR, EMS. And they're going to talk about reopening and all the information uh, that they've been putting out. They're going to give you a little bit more information. So I want you to just stay tuned. Make sure you write some things down. And, uh, and, and this is the age of the new norm now. We're doing Zoom. So I want to introduce Mayor Broom. Are you there? Yes. How are you doing, Mayor Waits? I'm doing pretty good. And Dr. Garby, are you there? Yes, Dr. Hi, Garby. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. <laughs> Outstanding. Mayor Broom, can you uh, elaborate for us? Uh, the importance of reopening and, and your philosophy on how that should go, ma'am? Well, um, Mayor, first of all, let me thank you for all of the uh, collaborative work that you've done as we 
navigating the COVID-19 uh, crisis. Today, as you know, is the um, uh, phase one Friday, as many people are describing it. And so uh, we have uh, a group of individuals who are part of my uh, business roundtable who have um, now focused and done a deep dive on reopening uh, their Star VR. And so we're focused on the uh, businesses in our city and in our parish, and making sure that we equip them, that we're responsive to them, and that we uh, encourage them in the process, not compromising our health uh, in the process. And so the information that they provided has been very meaningful. And we are looking at reopening in phase one. We're looking at what uh, phase two will look like. We're doing a, as I heard one group call it, a reimagination, a new beginning, a new start for our city and parish. Uh, but at the same time, Mayor, it's vitally important that we not neglect uh, the health of our citizens in East Baton Rouge Parish. What do I mean by that? I mean, we have flattened the curve, and certainly Dr. Godby can speak to that. But we have 21 days, approximately 21 days in phase one to show or prove that we are headed in the right direction in terms of our numbers and the potential of a resurgence of COVID-19 in our community. So we've got to continue those practices of good hygiene, of social distancing. And now uh, I am imploring everyone to wear a mask. In city parish buildings, it is required that you wear a mask. And so when I wear a mask, I protect you. When you wear a mask, you protect me. And so we're asking everyone in East Baton Rouge Parish to mask up. Well, that's, that's awesome. Um, Dr. Garvey, as we talk about this and we listen to the mayor, tell us what we can do to, uh, to continue to, to, to how we need the, the practices of the mitigations. What do we need to, to keep doing to make sure that we make this 28 days work for us? Yeah, great question, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you, you brought up a good point. Uh, now is not the time to relax vigilance. We say over and over again that the most important things to do are very simple things, but the most important aspect of it is to be very conscientious in doing simple things. So what we ask to do, the social distancing, the hand hygiene and personal hygiene and mask wearing, all of them are easy to do. But the key factor is not the complexity of what we're doing. It's the idea to be ever vigilant and ever, <clears throat> ever more conscientious in doing it. Now, you mentioned one point of flattening the curve, and that's a really important point to bring up now. Um, we've done well so far in our community of trying to keep the level of this virus disease down low. And so they say flattening the curve. What they mean is for a little bit of visual movement with my hands here, you have the curve that can kind of go way up and then come right back down and it's lasted a very short time. Or you can take a very small curve and then put it over a much longer period of time. That's what we want to do is to take that very high peak, shove it down to a lower level so we're not overwhelming our local um, healthcare facilities, but the sacrifice you make in doing that is it lasts a lot longer time. So we have to continue to be ever vigilant, otherwise what we'll get is a second peak where we moved it down, we did fairly well, then all of a sudden it jumps right back up and we've overwhelmed our healthcare facilities. So the idea is, as we've been pointing out all along, um, simple things, uh, social distancing, uh, hand hygiene, mask wearing, and being ever vigilant in doing those very simple things. Well, yeah, we we uh, have been talking about that, and that's very, very important um, as we move forward forward cautiously. And um, and I agree with uh, Mayor Broom and the governor on on how we proceeding through this. And um, but Mayor Broom, I, I know that you guys are going to open your buildings back up. Um, and and how is that going to uh, create a, a, a level of caution and um, uh, a level of excitement to be able to come back. How, how are you guys planning to do that? Well, a couple of things, Mayor. Um, we are 
city parish government on Wednesday. We have been in communicating, not the communication, not only with our essential employees, but we are preparing our workforce for city parish government uh, in the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, before we bring uh, the public in. Um, as it relates to the businesses in our city, we are we have set up a uh, hotline for businesses to call us at 211 if they need assistance or have questions as it relates to uh, their businesses uh, starting. And so we're making sure that every, and I'm going back now to city parish government, but we're making sure that every city parish employee uh, is masked up, that they have PPE, everything they need to feel comfortable in a safe uh, work environment. And that's why we are asking the public to reciprocate that, to respect our employees as our employees respect you by making sure that you have a face covering. Well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. And Dr. Garvey, real quick, how, how are the first responders, how are they adapting to change? Is there going to be any changes in the way they've been doing business? Um, we've adapted quite well. We'll continue to have specific units dedicated to uh, calls that are screened as po potential positives for the COVID virus. And we'll have those running for about two more weeks to be sure we make it through the transition effectively. Uh, but otherwise, our overall call volume has not changed that much significantly. But what we found is the traditional or so to speak regular emergency volume has decreased a little bit, but the COVID volume increased. Now that was about the past month. Recently, we've seen the trend go the other way. The regular emergency volume has dropped off. Uh, sorry, the COVID volume has dropped off. The regular emergency volume is taking an uptrend. But overall, we're handling it quite well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show, you guys. Um, and I, I want to thank uh, Dr. Goodby, and um, I want to thank uh, Mayor Broom uh, for coming on the show and talking about the reopening. Uh, it was just some great information. You guys, I want you guys to have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself uh, during the reopening. I want you to do, be safe. Just use wisdom as we go through this. But enjoy your weekend. And until next time, you take care. God bless.